Welcome back everyone, my name is Joel, and today the topic is going to really be about the information and what's called metadata in your photos. All right, so on one of my previous videos, I had a viewer request a video, wanted to know if there was more information that photos can provide about the photos that we take. And she compared it to Aperture, which was uh, Apple's pro version of photos, which is now discontinued. So metadata is just the information that is about your photograph. Every time you take a picture with a digital camera, it kind of stamps this information. And this information holds, you know, what camera took the photo, what lens was used, what focal length, the aperture, the shutter, the ISO, all of that technical information. Did the flash turn on? Did it not turn on? All of that information is called metadata and it's stamped onto every single photograph that you take with a digital camera. Now, depending on some of the software, the camera that you use, information can be, you can have more information like GPS information and coordinates of location. But also note that if you take that photograph and put it into software like Lightroom or Capture One or some professional editing software or even photos, you can actually strip some of that metadata out. But uh, as far as the information that photos Let's you see. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. So I'm gonna pull up uh, some of my favorite photos here And I'll open this one up and to find the information about a particular photo in the top right There's a little eye if you click on that this then will show you the information about that photo so it shows you the the model of the camera it shows the lens it shows the resolution of what this particular photo is the file size and a little information about the, the aperture, the shutter speed, ISO, and the focal length. It shows the date and the time as well. It can show you the location if you have GPS added or you can always add it after the fact. And the description and the keyword and the title at the top are really geared for more specifically photos in general. So there is a little bit of information. It's not like they don't give you anything. It gives you the information that the majority of people are probably looking for. Now, if you don't have Photoshop, if you don't have Lightroom, if you don't have Capture One, if you don't have some professional software, here's a, a workaround that I found that does show you a little bit more information. So if we take this photograph out of photos and the easiest thing to do is just literally drag it. I'm gonna drag it out and put it right on my desktop. And that's actually the same as exporting. You're just taking that file and copying it to the desktop. It still resides inside of photos, but now you've made a duplicate copy on your computer. Now, if I take that photograph and just double click on it, uh, the default photo viewer is called preview on your Mac. So this is what it opens up to. Notice in the top left, I can see that it says preview. Now, if I go and get the information for the photograph in preview, I can go up to tools, do show inspector, and this is where it shows me that information. So within this window here, I have the general information, the, the name of it, the type of file, the file size, the date, resolution, DPI, the color model. If I click on the eye, I have a lot more information as I scroll down and all of these different tabs beneath it. So it does give you a little bit more information as far as the camera is concerned, but I guess, do you need that information? That's up to you, not up to me. But here's a nice little workaround if you're looking to get more information or metadata about a particular photo and you can do it here. So that is uh, an alternative to find more information or metadata about a photo that is not using photos, but still a default program or application on your Mac. So thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and learned something, go ahead and hit subscribe and we'll see you next time.